So what's good, Yola? Today we up here sitting with uh, Yola eight one three. Yo, what's happening, man? What's happening? What's happening? What's good? What's your name? So, uh, cool, cool, cool. Go ahead, tell the people about yourself, man. Where you from? Where you at? Who you repping? Shit, I'm from Tampa, South Tampa. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I stand on me, really. Shit, yo, shit, it's whatever. Shit, I put on for the three, nigga. Three. Okay, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, where you went to school at? Where you grew up at? Yeah. Shit, I, my first school was uh, Claire Mill. That's the first school I went to. Then I went to E.L. Bean. Uh, different schools in the South, really. Until I got to high school, middle school, went to private school. How did you come up with the name Payola? Uh, shit, really? Damn, that's crazy. Uh, really, like in high school, I was fucked up. Like we grew off the me, we grew up off the Migos, like working out and shit. That's all we used to listen to in the weight room, the Migos, and they had dropped a little mixtape, and they had a song called Payola. So, like every chance I got, I was playing that bitch. If I had ox, I was gonna play that bitch. So. They just started calling me Payola. Trey and KJ Carlin boys just started calling me Payola. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, so. Uh, really, it's just Yola. Like, okay, yo, so Yola. So stay Yola, no yeah. more Payola. Yeah, yeah. Okay, back, back. Uh, so since we already talking about influences and how you got your name, uh, who inspires your music? Like, what, uh, what artist or uh, what person inspires Yola music? Shit. Um, really? Don't nobody really inspire my music. Like, I, I feel like I come with my own shit. Like, I don't try to copy nobody and be like, let me listen to Kodak and see if I can make a song like that. Nah, gotcha. I don't do that. But, like, personality wise, like, Kodak, for sure, Lil Baby, they motivate me. You feel me? They motivate me. Gotcha. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But I don't try to sound like nobody. Okay, okay. So, uh, so, how would you describe your music then? Do you consider yourself a hip hop artist, a rapper? I ain't gonna lie. I be trying to. Whatever the people like, like, I'm versatile, so I can bring whatever to the table, like, I could be trying to do whatever, you know what I'm saying, I'm versatile, like, I try not to stay in one category, you okay. I can do that. Okay, so what's, uh, what you got going on right now, like, what songs you got out right now? Uh, right now I got out of fuck, so I, too close to 10k, it might be at 10k right now, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And not for what, two, three weeks now? Yeah, yeah. About two weeks, so I think you dropped it. Uh, so what's next? Shit, Mo Bangles, Mo Heat. Shit, yeah. I'm trying to work. I'm really starting to try to work with more artists in the city. That's what, that's my goal. Start working with more artists in the city. Okay. And uh, so, as far as working with artists, like who's, who would you say is one of your favorite artists in the city right now? If you had to pick, that's tough. Not saying you got to, cause I know you're probably cool with everybody. Um, but. I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna say he the top, he the best rapper in the city, but mm -hmm. I say like this nigga got work work ethic and he and he really doing his thing. I say probably crazy out like he he fine and he been doing his thing. He be working like when I see him, I see him like it be about some music shit, it be about some business shit. You feel me? Gotcha. And he hard, he hard. I feel like. That's one of the underdogs in the city, but you know, of course, you know, you got Roll Boy, you got T9, you got Doodle, you got them boys, they doing their thing too. But I say like Crazy Al, one of the ones like, like me, he, he underrated, he, but five. Well, what's your thoughts on the music scene in Tampa right now? Uh, the music scene, I feel like the music scene good. I feel like artists separately, everybody really doing their thing, like all sides of the city doing their thing. But, um, Shit, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's finna get there real soon. Like, more people start working together. Promoters start working together. Everybody start connecting. Cause we got the tools. We got the tools for somebody to do that now. We just ain't got the, the unity. Like, but everybody fight a man. Like, everybody. Shit, you got so many of them. Raw ass producers. Swift, Chris, so all them niggas. Them niggas. Really, got flats with young boys, Kodak, all types of shit. It's just a unity thing, really. So, uh, when you gonna start doing shows and everything like that? A lot of people been asking about putting all these shows, man. They said they don't see you on stage too much. I'm finna, I'm finna start doing shows. I ain't never, I ain't never really start doing shows. I just. 
like I said, the promoters, the unity with the rappers, shit like that. You feel me? So you think you feel and, like and you really been being supported? Cause I mean, like if I feel like I ain't worth mm-hmm. performing for free or a hundred, a hundred dollars ain't even, you feel me? But I do get, I do get people that be like, yo, you trying to perform shit like that. But, yo, if it ain't right, I ain't doing it. So you don't feel like nobody like trying to black- blackball you out of the situation? Just, they just ain't gonna hit you up? Uh, shit. It's a couple promoters that probably don't fuck with me that probably should have been like, yo, you trying to... Shit, but I had, I had performances. I, last time I performed uh, was Super Bowl. I had a little lounge and shit like that. Yeah. So let's talk about a little personal, you know. I remember a while back you were saying how you was fighting some cases. You know, I've been listening to your music and you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. fighting the case I'm on the way uh, was one of your first hit songs that you dropped. And um, you know, if you feel yeah, you can uh, elaborate on that, I mean, you gotta get too deep into it or not, but Shit. you know, let the people know, man, like what happened. Shit, really around this time, really just going through it with more people and shit like that. Really, shit, a nigga was needing money, shit, I had to do what I had to do, you feel me? So, ain't really nothing, ain't really nothing. I got, you know what I'm saying? I got caught on some DNA shit, on some humbug shit. Shit, really, shit. It's just, it is what it is. Shit, it ain't really nothing. I don't really look at that as no, like, oh, oh, I'm top dog for doing what I did. And I don't really give a fuck about that shit. That shit really ain't cool to me. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm still on probation from that shit, honestly. Like I don't really, I don't, I don't even. People don't even know that. Yeah. Cause I don't. I, don't, I done did plenty of shit. We done did plenty of shit. Yeah. Plenty of shit I can't speak on. But I don't be like on my rap. I done did this. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Gotcha. I be trying to get this money on. And that's just straight. Uh, yeah. All right. So, what's your plan for the future? Like, what artists do you look? Uh, do you see yourself working with in the future? Like in the city, locally? Yeah, in the city. Yeah, we're saying um, keep it local. Shit. The artists I named before, really, on the question, you said something about the artists I named before. There's a couple old, older artists like uh, Tanji. I definitely want to get one in on Tanji. I've been working with his brother, Swaver. We definitely got one in there. He, he, I definitely want one with that brother, too. And that's it? Shit, it's some more rappers in the South I gotta work with. It's it's yeah. it's a lot. It's a lot. So I can't really name. I'm missing a lot too. Yeah. It's a it's a lot of rappers. It's a lot of rappers in the South I wanna work with first before I build. I definitely wanna work with Bud LA to go. Gotcha. So would you see yourself signing with any local uh labels? Uh far here as far as in Florida, Tampa area um, in general. Tampa area. Cause there's some good labels in Florida. There's some real good labels in Florida. Locally, locally, if, if, if somebody had the uh, damn, well, really, I, I I do everything on my own now. I be doing shit the niggas be signing for already. So if a nigga had the money to put behind like publishing and, and, and promoting and all that shit, like other shit that I need, yo, I don't even need. I'm good. I don't need nothing else. I just need some good marketing and publishing shit like that. If they had that, yeah, for so. For so. So what do you think you really need far as to reach that next level? Like, do you see yourself as an accomplished artist for right now? No, nah, definitely not. Hell nah, you can never be uh, fully set. When you, when you got shit you working on, you can never be fully set. So what do you think you really missing? Like, far as team-wise, like... You know, because you say you do a lot of um, you know, stuff on your own, so. I'm missing. Shit, really just promotion, really just putting my name out there. That's, that's the main thing. Because I don't, I don't miss, I don't too much miss now. Shit, it's really just promotion, like getting me out the outside, just the city. The city yeah. definitely know me. It was dope. Okay, okay. So, is there anything else you want to let the people know before we uh slide out? Man, shit, man, tap in, man. I fuck sock now, nah, man. Tap the fuck in. Almost 10K, man. What's up? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We on the way. Yeah. What's your uh, social media and all that? Uh, Payola813, Instagram. That's really the only thing I got right now. Shit, my fan page. I got a fan page. My people around and shit like that.
Viola, uh, what it's called, uh, Viola family, which is all right, then, well, I appreciate you for stopping by, man. You know what I'm saying? We fuck switch over here at yeah, Grind Studios. So, so. You know what I'm saying? So, till next time. And then I came along. Never back, I took the wrong. I really kid those and brawl. I'm a me, don't care what dogs. I really like this in person, so don't you get it twisted. The only reason I be throw low, cause most of my dogs in prison. I just got the sauce, I might go get the jack. Pay deposit on my chain, I'm about